The mastermind behind Red Bull's dominance, Adrian Newey, was reportedly sidelined during the crucial development of the RB20. Sources claim that technical director Pierre Wachet and chief aerodynamicist Enrico Balbo brazenly ignored Newey's warnings, choosing to forge their own path. Newey's sudden departure announcement in May sent shockwaves through the paddock. While still contractually bound until March, his role has become a mere shadow of his former influence. Christian Horner's statement that Newey would be hands-off in car development raised eyebrows, especially given his continued presence at races. But what's really going on behind the scenes? Insiders suggest the RB20's underwhelming performance is no coincidence. Wache's post-Miami overhaul of the car's aerodynamics has been described as a gamble that backfired. The redesigned cooling system, in particular, became a major point of contention. Newey was livid, claims an anonymous team source. He saw this extreme cooling approach as a recipe for disaster, but his concerns fell on deaf ears. The introduction of controversial shark inlets and halo air intakes further widened the rift between Newey and the new guard. One engineer reportedly overheard Newey muttering, This isn't evolution, it's regression. As Red Bull struggles to maintain its iron grip on the championship, one can't help but wonder, has the team's hubris in sidelining their greatest asset sealed their fate? Only time will tell if this power struggle within the Milton Keynes outfit will be their undoing. Remember, in Formula One, pride often comes before the fall. And Red Bull might just be learning this lesson the hard way.